Hello, it's uh, Willie from the Ozarks, and we're ready for Lesson 63 in A Course in Miracles workbook, Your Journey. And uh, it's February the 4th. Our lesson today is, uh, remember, we're, we're, we're taking these giant strides. Well, these are giant strides. 63, the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. We can each say that. All right. Uh, yesterday, I probably should have commented a little bit more on yesterday's lesson 62. Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. Because the lesson before that, 61, was I am the light of the world. That is my only function. That is why I am here. Isn't that a nice way to look at it? Why are you on planet Earth? Uh, because I'm the light of the world. Remember, Jesus said, ye are the light of the world. Uh, you don't want to hide your light. When the way you don't hide your light is practice forgiveness. He's going to develop this for us now. Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. All right? Well, today he's going to continue that idea even further. I hope that you uh, kind of got these, um, you know, at least in your short-term memory, the italicized sections and the titles. Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. I would fulfill my function that I may be happy. And if you still have a little difficulty when you're, you get distracted, you can say, I would remember this because I want to be happy. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be doing the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. And uh, I am the means God has appointed for the salvation of the world. That is one of, that's the uh, italicized part that I encourage people to memorize. Okay, at least for well enough to where you don't have to just keep looking at the book all day. I mean, you, 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 may, you may or may not get it one day, but that's not really the point I'm trying to make. Just if you want to do something to really help you, memorizing the titles and the italicized words, or at least reading them enough to where they they easy to re recall. All right, uh, before we go... As you know, I've been having some uh, fun showing you some of my plants. When I started these, these are those, these are yellow pear tomatoes. I can't grow yellow pear tomatoes without thinking of my good friend Jerry, Jerry Bruck, who made his crossing uh, this, this last year. And uh, anyway, he always grew yellow pear tomatoes. These likely are seeds from his tomatoes. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about these? I'm, oh, I was kind of showing you this. This is kind of a neat little uh, cutting board I, I did here. It's only a quarter inch thick piece of oak. And I just, it, it had a big knot over here and I think it had a knot here. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I just use the part that's good, put a handle on it and make it real thin. I, I wanted something I could just carry in my ice chest to prepare food when I was out and about. So, uh, you know, any kind of hardwood, the red oaks, or this is a piece of uh, red oak is really not the best. White oak worked better. It's a more closed grain. Anyway, just kind of showing you some things about my life and uh, hope. The reason I wanted to show you plants, it kind of motivates me to, to kind of work with them. But more than anything, I thought about a good friend of mine that used to start tomatoes. His name was uh, James Calvert. Uh, he's also crossed over. He was an older man when I knew him as a young man. When I was a young man, he was an older man. He always, this time of year, he'd have, uh, he was one of the first people that I ever kind of knew that was real close to the earth. And he kind of instilled it in me in some ways, kind of helped bring it on. And uh, he would have egg cartons just sitting in the windowsills this time of year with uh, his seeds planted in them. He'd get them started in the tomato cartons 
and then transplant them into something else if he needed a little bigger, more root space. But I remember him planting tomatoes in egg gardens, and I was thinking about him today along with Jerry. I uh, just wanted to share those things with you, the inspirations. All right, lesson 63. The light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. How holy are you who have the power to bring peace to every mind? How blessed are you who can learn to recognize the means for letting this be done through you? What purpose could you have that would bring you greater happiness? What purpose could you have that would bring you greater happiness? The happiness that we bring to ourselves and others by practicing forgiveness. These are giant strides. We want to make sure that we make these strides. Uh, second paragraph, you are indeed the light of the world with such a function. The Son of God looks to you for his redemption. It is yours to give him, for it belongs to you. Accept no trivial purpose or meaningless desire in its place, or you will forget your function and leave the Son of God in hell. You don't want to be in hell. You don't want to leave anybody in hell, yourself, nobody else. That's why we want to be really quick and good at practicing forgiveness. That way we can stay in the kingdom of heaven. This is no idle request that is being asked of you. You are asked to accept salvation, that it may be yours to give. Paragraph 3. Recognizing the importance of this function, we will be happy to remember it very often today. We will begin the day by acknowledging it and close the day with the thought of it in our awareness. And throughout the day, we will repeat this as often as we can. And what are we going to repeat? This italicized two sentences. The light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. I am the means God has appointed for the salvation of the world. Paragraph 5. If you can close your eyes, you will probably find it easier to let related thoughts come to you in the minute or two which you should devote to considering this. Do not, however, wait for such an opportunity. No chance should be lost for reinforcing the day's idea. So throughout the, what he's basically saying is throughout the day, just be, be bringing the thought up. What was that thought now? Uh, the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. I am the means God has appointed for the salvation of the world. That's why it's so nice. I don't have my card in my pocket right now, but it's so nice to be able to pull that out during the day and no matter what's on your mind, you can bring it back real quick. And before long, if you pulls out and really trying to remember it, you'll begin to remember the words without pulling it out. Okay, so that's what we want to do. No chance should be lost for reinforcing today's idea. And the last paragraph, remember that God's Son looks to you for his salvation. And who but yourself must be his son? So we're going to look to ourselves for our salvation. And the Son of God, the Son of God in everyone, can look to us for their salvation. We are the ones that are going to look to ourselves, our higher selves, for our salvation. Freedom from uh, the trivial and meaningless uh, purposes of life that so often trap us for a long, long time. All right, so keep this in mind. The light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. I hope that you don't feel like I'm being too redundant, but I really want to repeat these lessons enough to where they really kind of settle in and 
I don't I don't think we need to add a whole lot to the 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 book in the way of um, uh, examples or even though those are very useful and I, I do encourage them and I'm sure I, I and I, I'll, I'll be using some but what I'm trying to say is just let's just let the words themselves speak and uh, throughout the day if you have a friend that you're doing this with or a partner you share it with each other boy that's a great way to, to, to really help in a relationship and to, to make advancements in a really powerful way and if you don't, you can always say it silently in your mind to someone. And you might, for some people, you might even want to say it out loud. Friends of yours that know that you're studying these texts, you can say, hey, would you like to hear my lesson today? And you could say, well, the, the whole lesson is the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. I am the means God has appointed for the salvation of the world. And until tomorrow, until tomorrow, be aware of all of God's goodness in your life. Thank you.